Being a work of art, a little known fact about airbrushing when 13 News continues. You've no doubt seen the artistry somewhere, on a wall, a motorcycle, or even fingernails. Airbrushing is an art that some say began by someone close to home. Rewriting history tonight in our little known fact. If you don't see this man in your history books, some say you should. to the art of airbrushing, applying liquid color through a jet of air. Mark Schwendau of Kishwaukee College says, contrary to popular belief, the genesis of this stroke of genius began in Rockford. A gentleman by the name of Charles Burdick, who's an American inventor that settled in England, was given credit for invention of the airbrush, when in actuality, uh, Liberty Walk up from Mount Morris, Illinois, and then later settled in Rockford, Illinois, was the inventor of the airbrush. Not only is he the inventor, Schwendau says, according to history books, Walkup perfected his invention years before others copied his idea. He was first in the United States with a patent. He was first to go in production and first to go into commercial sales. This is no trivial matter. It's significant to the point where there was a, a professor that came over from Europe um, this summer to, he's authoring a new book on airbrush history, uh, airbrush rendering, and he is going to rewrite history and correct it. So history is being rewritten, and we in the present enjoy the future of this beautiful art. And if you have a little known fact, feel free to write me here at the station, 13 WREX TV, PO Box 530, Rockford, Illinois, 611. Zero five. You're an artist. Well, I tried. I didn't do a very good job, but hey. That in and of itself is a little known fact. <laughs> yes, exactly. A little known fact to me as well. <laughs> Still to come on 13 News at 10, Charlie Hirsch takes a, a look at some unique Packer Backer paraphernalia.